Happy birthday to text messaging. Hard to believe, but SMS turns 20 years old today. The first ever text was sent on December 3rd, 1992 by the engineer Neil Papworth. It read, come over later, 143. No, not really. It read, Merry Christmas, fully spelled out. By the year 2000, when users could finally text between different networks, the average number of texts per month had risen to 35 per person. Today, some of us send that many in just a day. U.S. teenagers in particular now send an average of 60 per day. However, texting may actually be in decline. For the first time in quarter three of 2012, there was a decline in the total number of text messages in Western markets. These days, there are a million ways to avoid using it and avoid paying for it. For one, social networks. Anyone with a smartphone can basically use Twitter as a free messenger. Same goes with Facebook, which has a separate messenger app with none of the character limits that delineate both SMS and Twitter messaging. For BlackBerry users, BBM has all but replaced SMS. For iOS users, iMessage consolidates for text and any addresses or IM usernames linked to your Apple ID. And messages are free over Wi-Fi. Additionally, third-party messaging services have become increasingly popular. WhatsApp is a powerhouse in this category. Like SMS, it's fully cross-platform and also allows pictures, video, and audio notes at no extra cost. It integrates with your number so you don't have to worry about alternative numbers or usernames. And at just 99 cents, it's also a top five app in 145 countries. And rumor has it they're about to be snapped up by Facebook. If that's a turnoff for you, there are plenty of alternatives like Viber, which allows free international messaging and calls on any device and network. For anyone with friends and family across the world, this is a pretty good option that's also free. There's also Kik, which recently added photo and video sharing to its features. Not coincidentally, Kik has taken on a life of its own on Instagram, where the hashtags KickMe and KickBack have already turned into its own verb. Of course, if none of those appeal to you, there's always Snapchat. What's your service of choice? Let me know in the comments. This is Annie for TFN. And by the way, we are launching a holiday giveaway. For the next three weeks, we'll be giving away a Tech Feed t-shirt every day here on TFN. Additionally, other shows on the Tech Feed channel also have giveaways from Amazon gift cards to iPad minis. Check out the other shows for more chances to win shirts and much more. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a chance to enter. For today's t-shirt giveaway, let us know what your favorite texting method is in the comments. That's it. Check out the official rules in the summary below and good luck.